Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen to another episode of Let's Play Sid Meier's Civilization 2. Year is already 1040 AD and we are in the final phase of this campaign. Mm. We have to move all of our troops to the east, all the catapults, uh, all the um, used to be legion units that are now musketeers. And we're also waiting for the crucial technology to finish because once we are done with, uh, I forgot the name, once we're done with metallurgy, uh, we're going to be promoting or evolving all of our existing mm, catapults into cannons. And these are uh, extremely powerful units uh, that should overwhelm the well-defended cities of the Romans. So this is our plan, just sit tight and amass a huge army, upgrade that army, and then uh, attack the Romans, who are not doing super great, even though their cities are pretty big and they're all well defended because, as you can see, every single city has city walls. And that's probably due to the fact that... Um, is there actually a... Uh, I think the, um, the Great Wall gives each city a city wall. I might be wrong on that. But I know for a fact that Romans do, in fact, have um, the Great Wall Wonder, which is also going to be a pain because that also allows the civilization to force others into signing peace treaties. And we want to destroy them completely. So, of course, that's going to be a big problem. I cannot forget about these uh, naval units because they're going to be, of course, also crucial. as They're really powerful. Hopefully, they're going to be... Mm, serving us well okie dokie so this galleon is currently empty uh let's check on our cities mm, what are we producing a harbor an ironclad a legion which should this turn transform into a uh, musketeer uh, another legion uh, lots of caravans because we're making two more uh, wonders mm, some city walls a frigate and another island ironclad oh and two catapults at new tokyo and at satsuna okay so that's pretty nice right so you're gonna sit tight we're gonna put you to sleep mm, bokara does not demand wine but it is building wonder we need 114 more shields to complete that uh wonder right so let's continue Texcoco built city walls. That's nice. Now, since we lost our legion units, um, outside of the catapults or soon-to-be um, cannons, there isn't really that uh, powerful land unit that we can uh, shield these uh, catapults with. I mean, of course, musketeers are good. Musketeers are basically going to be serving us as, as the attacking force, but with the incredibly strong defense of three, they're going to be guarding the uh, attacking mm, catapults. That's basically the, the idea. Mm, okay. Right. Uh, so Edo builds caravan. Obviously, that's for the wonder purposes. Oh, yeah. That's what I was talking about. The production of... Um, <clears throat> sorry. Um, from Legion, change to, to Musketeers. That's great. That's great. We didn't change the production over here. Um, okay, so you produce another musketeer. Let's change that to a catapult. Right, since you're slow, you're going to be transported with this unit, by this unit. And then we can move you over to here. Who is building a wonder? You are. That's almost a waste. It's mm, five more turns only. And the other city that is building a wonder is. Ah. Uh, it is uh, Bokara. And Bokara needs a lot of help. Yeah, so you go over here.
where is that transport unit that could save these guys i i hope that this is the galleon that is uh moving their way let's just make sure that that's happen that happens yeah okay yeah you push forward you go to sleep for now you also go to sleep for now Oh yeah, I forgot to change the production uh, order. Three and three. In order to make anything out of you, uh, it would be wise to mm, make a courthouse. But first, uh, let's build a temple because you're growing fast. You're already level five, so you're going to be having happiness problems. So Osaka finally builds an aqueduct, our first ever aqueduct, which means that Osaka is going to be the first city that is going to grow beyond level 8. Mm. We need to make sure that this city uh, is always happy. So we're going to build our first Colosseum. It's going to be very expensive to maintain that, but we're going to need that in order to uh, not have any issues with that city later down the line. How how expensive is it to complete it? We already have 1800 gold. I think we can afford to complete that just to get it out of the way and then focus on other constructions. So complete it. We're skipping past a couple of turns because I decided that it is not terribly exciting to watch me just move around my units and to patiently wait for the technology to happen and to um for all my units to move from point a to point b so i'm gonna skip ahead a couple of turns kagoshima finally completes darwin's uh voyage and that means that leonardo's oh no that's that's two different things okay so we're gonna focus on that a little bit later but now uh, we get the confirmation that all of our catapults are going to be transformed into cannons because we've discovered metallurgy. Japanese scientists discovered the secret of metallurgy. That is super awesome. Yeah, that gives us cannon. And as you can see, cannon has attack strength of 1. Defense is still... Uh, sorry, <laughs> what am I saying? Attack strength of 8. Uh, defense strength is still at 1, but it has 2 hit points. So it is a little bit more durable. What is the next thing that we should go after? Um, electricity sounds good. It will give us eventually the unit of destroyer. It cancels the effect of great library. We never had the great library, so we don't care. Can see units two spaces away. Oh, uh, can spot enemy submarines in adjacent squares. It really sucks that basically all of my units only see one square away. So we always get surprised when we see somebody. Four attack, four strength, three hit points, one firepower, six movement rate. This is a good city, a, a good unit, sorry. Uh, polytheism. That basically is obsolete because I think that elephants are also going to be transformed into a different unit i just don't know which one okay so there's a, a role, also a powerful unit called um a knight we should research feudalism okay so let's go for feudalism oh this is the wonder that gives us two uh free advances and we just discovered the feudalism And I also think that the Darwin's Voyage uh, Wonder gave us automatically the, the, the metallurgy. So I think this is the second one, I think. Right, so this gives us pikemen. Of course, this unit is obsolete because all of our phalanx units already uh, transformed from um, phalanx automatically to, to musketeers. But now we get to get the chivalry, which is, uh, yeah, I would like to have the knights. They have attack of four and defense strength of two, and they would uh, make a nice unit composition alongside our cannons and the musketeers. So let's go for that. 
Okay, so we're done with the Darwin's voyage at Kagoshima. That's the first wonder of this city. It has a temple, library, and city walls. It only supports uh, four units, so we could go for one more. Um, which city is this? Uh, Kagoshima. Oh, this is the one. So let's go for another naval unit. Let's go for an ironclad. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Osaka builds Colosseum. Great. That gives us plenty of uh, happy people or content people, I should say. So Osaka can also... Um, I mean, you have trade of 14, signs of 20. As you give us six coins out of tax. You have a marketplace. You have a library. And you have you do have a university. Mm, I don't think this city just needs to, to give us... A, we have plenty of cities to, to produce units out of. So this can focus on economy. This is an expensive building. Which is going to cost us three maintenance per turn. And we only get three taxes. So... Uh, sorry, six units of taxes. We will get three out of that building, so it will give us nothing. So we don't need to get that. Um, we could reduce the corruption. Are there any interesting wonders to build? Uh, Adam Smith trading. Paste. Oh, yeah, yeah, I read about that. No, I don't need that. All new ground units produce uh, gain veteran status. Any unit which wins a combat gains veteran status. So we don't need. Um, effectively, we don't need barracks anymore. Anymore. I would actually go for the oracle. I don't know when we're gonna uh, learn theology. Maybe we can skip theology and never learn that. And that would mean that all of our temples, which basically are in every single one of our cities, could get. Uh, could receive the, uh, you know increasing efficiency so let's go for that we get another upgrade to our throne room i don't necessarily want to upgrade anything everything looks nice we could go for the actual throne oh yeah there's also this and this right so let's go for that okay yeah yeah and we get another uh, wonder completion Copernicus observatory which gives us a lot of stuff this is a really nice city Bukhara is now receiving 20 shields every turn and it gives us 24 signs per turn that is incredible right you go for a marketplace that's cheap and that's gonna increase the uh, tax output So what is the situation? I have plenty of naval units uh, east of Neapolis. We're going to ignore that um, goody hut because we don't necessarily uh, need to. Uh, it's, it's probably going to be like 25 gold. So it's, so it's really nothing. To the west, we basically have all of our army set uh, right in place. We are ready to attack. As you can see, we only have musket men and the cannon units, which means that we are fully prepared. Uh, this tile has one unit, but this tile, this also has one unit. This tile, as you can see, has mm, a couple of more units. And this is going to be our primary army. Uh, we're going to be attacking in waves. We're not going to rush with all of our um, units because of the fear that, of course, uh, with a bad roll, we can lose everyone when we get attacked. Yeah, and it's the beginning of the final push. So I think we can... Uh, Start going. So let's unfortify everybody. Yeah, I think we're ready. So this is how many units we have. We also have um, another musketman going on its way. We also have two cannons that are going to be transported by this uh, galleon. They're going to arrive. Oh, and there's another cannon that was just produced at New Tokyo. 
Uh, you make me... Okay, so you're level 6. Switch to a temple. And uh, you try to go on your own. If you're too slow, you're going to get picked up by the galleon. And of course, we're slowly but surely um, building our infrastructure with the railroads. Now, mm, we have built both for wonders and that we were producing for uh, quite some time. But we have started... Uh, working on the Oracle, so all the existing caravans can now uh, go to, uh, which city was that? that go to Osaka. And you're going to be switching out of the uh, caravans. And you're going to make me... Um, what can you do? You're already supporting three units. You can support seven, but I don't want to slow you down any further. Uh, this is a terrible city. <laughs> it has so many trees, so many forest tiles that it doesn't produce any trade whatsoever. Um, we should have gone for the barracks because you can see how many units we're actually supporting. So, so build these barracks, build the barracks. Uh, we're going to send you to Osaka here. You're empty. Mm, is there anybody out of that? No. Are we actually going the longer route? I think we are. We're not producing any um, units out of these first cities, so we don't need to transport them like whoop. Plus, I want to attack um, these cities from one direction. We could, you know, um, harass like Neapolis with our naval units. But the full frontal assault should be going from this direction. Okay, so we're going to send you here. I don't know where this unit is going. Sometimes, especially with the naval units, it is a little bit funky. It is much better than in Civ 1 in terms of the pathfinding when you automatically send a unit to um, some place. But it is, as you can see, far from uh, perfect. You're carrying a lot of units, so we're going to be... Uh, oh yeah, we have to drop off this settler and you're going to be um, building the railroad system and the rest of the units um, are going to go to the frontal line. Okay, so this is the turn when we should be getting threats from the uh, Romans. So that builds library. That's nice. You're getting me, giving me seven signs per turn now. That's good. Mm. You don't have a uh, marketplace and you won't get any marketplace. So let's just go for another cannon. Yeah, we're going to be losing units probably like heck. Okay, so let's count that. Uh, the good strategy was two and two, right? So let's have, uh, I mean, technically we can go for one and three. So one musketeer and three uh, cannons. So we could be pushing here. Oh, that's already level four, but they don't have walls. So they should fall relatively uh, quickly. Okay, let's put in another uh, musket men. So this is the optimal unit composition that I want to have on one tile but all of these units are going to be pushing forward right and I'm going to drop off these guys so the Romans did not say anything last turn when we entered their borders they're probably going to be mm, pretty upset this turn Mm -hmm. Okay, you've completed the, this route. Uh, we're going to be... Yeah, you're also going to be starting building these uh, railroads. Goya builds temples. Mm. 
Yeah, so you go for another ironclad. Okay, we need to start, stop producing these caravans because we have way too many. Is there anybody producing caravans? No, not you. You. You stop producing caravans. Give me a cannon. You stop producing caravans. Give me a cannon. Let's go all out cannon. Ironclad, city walls, frigate, cannon, ironclad, cannon, temple, cannon, cannon. Okay, no more caravans. Mm. So this wonder is going to be built pretty quickly. As you can see, we have just established a trade route. And we have one, two, three, four more mm. caravans heading for Osaka. So Markant, you go somewhere here. You too. And you're not saying anything. That is suspicious. Oh, they are hostile. Okay. So they were going to attack us anyway. So let's surprise attack them. What was that? Yeah. Okay, let's attack this guy first. Okay, so we're officially starting the war, the final war against the Romans. We cancel the peace treaty. We could be attacking this city. I think we lost our first mm, ironclad. Okay. That was a very successful attack. Uh, let's see if, if the frigate can occupy cities. No, only ground units may occupy enemy cities. So what about an ironclad? Maybe you're the exception. No, you're not. So unfortunately, there's nothing we can do. We can, of course, always just go for the... Um, can always just go for for the units right and uh, weaken these cities so uh, we're attacking Ravenna Fire! A very successful attack we're not gonna be pushing with the musketeers we're gonna use the uh, other cannon Fire! against the phalanx boom and now we're gonna march in so the first city is ours ladies and gentlemen this war is so far so good. So, so, so far is going really, really uh, great. Uh, give me, oh yeah, civil disorder. So let's move everybody in. Of course, the next cities are going to be bigger. And with city wall, so it's not going to be as easy. Okay, we're not going to be uh, going to explore. This galleon can actually go here and pick up that goodie hut. You can unload as well. Great. Yeah, I know. Okay, order restored. Let's buy a musketman. Lucian near Bokara. Oh, oh, okay. That's fine. Okay, you have a temple. Right, because you're already level 7, right? So now make me more units. But before that, let's build the barracks. How's the tax situation? Oh, we're slow. The costs are catching up to the income. Hmm. Build railroads. 152 shields left. Another wonder. Some Markant. Yeah, I don't care about you.
Yeah, let's move all of these units here. Oh, you have to rest. Mm -hmm. And I want you to go here. Okay, you're going to just continuously attack Neapolis. Maybe we can actually destroy the city completely. Oh, it doesn't work that way. Maybe it's because of the city walls or maybe because of something else. Usually it's, it's like when you when you attack the city successfully, mm, then it the population drops by one. But as you can see, the population of Neapolis doesn't drop. But we're just going to be pounding on these cities so that we mm, destroy their uh, units. Kumbai is now level 6 only. Fantastic bombardment. Yeah, and it also did not lose population. So that's unfortunate. Okay, how's the situation with their units? Only 13 left. They started with 18. Okie dokie. This is going great. Right. I think we can play one more turn. Car builds marketplace. Mm, so now you're giving me six coin every turn. That's nice. Mm, give me. A cannon. Mass cannon. For the win. Hmm. You're supporting four units. Give me a frigate. Okay, you've produced a second frigate. You're supporting three units, and so we can stop now with this city. We can develop it a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, give me a marketplace. I need more cash. 48 versus 39. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you build a railroad to Kyoto. Things are looking better and better each turn. You sit here. So he's basically... Uh, I think he's rush building these defensive units, which means that he's going to run out of money pretty soon. He has 333 uh, gold. He has more unit than he had last turn. Ah, that's unfortunate. Um, we could go for Pisa. We could go for Antium, actually. It's going to take a while. Oh, there's a, actually a pass here. So, yeah, let's actually help out these guys. Because it seems like the bombardment is really efficient against these these, but these cannons should also work nicely. Yeah, and these units are slowly going to be moving forward. I don't want to talk to her. Okay, we have to be careful about this. Let's not move any more units forward because they might be destroyed by the catapult. Yeah, so we're going to hold in place. You're from Uppsala. Mm, oh, I actually moved the musketman from Ravenna that I produce here. Uh, that's fine. Mm, so you're going to be... From Ravenna. And you fortify. Mm-hmm. Oof. Okay, so we survived that battle. We have the chivalry. That's great. And that leads to leadership. Leadership gives me dragoons with the attack of 5 and defense strength of 2. Movement rate of 2. That's a fantastic unit. I want that. Karakorum builds barracks. And you're not going to be building... 
units at this time. Uh, that's fine. Mm, what can you make? You already have a settler. Mm, but you have a great surplus. You're going to eat one shield and one food if I build another settler. But I want to build up these railroads. So you can go, go ahead and um, give me a... Uh, A settler. Mm, Trondheim builds library. And Trondheim's going to go for the knights. Okay, and that's gonna do it for this episode. So far, so good. We are doing really great in terms of the um, war against the Romans. Thank you for watching. We're going to continue this war until we completely kill off the Romans and win the game. See you in the next episode. Bye bye.